Hey, this is Justin from Whiting Services Heating and Air. Today we have a York gas pack rooftop unit. Uh, the occupant said it's making a lot of noise and they had some water coming down uh, into the space. We had a huge storm last night, so it's possible it's possible it could be rainwater. Uh, could also be the coil iced up. Uh, we're gonna look at it and try to see what's going on. The noise situation I found out what that is. I'll let you listen here. Check this out. It's gonna come on. Now nah, it's gonna time out. So it looks like. Look, I'll spin this. Look at that. So. You look here you can see uh, this pulley is much higher than that one um, looks like this pulley is actually walking right off the shaft you can see it's only got about less than a half inch of, of meat hanging on there to the shaft and then it's gonna come right off so we're gonna see if we can reset that and uh, Get her straightened out. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna remove this belt and uh, see what I can do with that pulley if I can move it. Um, should move pretty easy once I take that set screw out. We'll get this thing straightened out and then fire it up and see how it goes. We haven't been here in a long time because of COVID. They've been shut down. So, we really haven't been here since the very beginning of the year. Uh, and then the water situation. I'm going to go ahead and... I can see a lot of a lot of sealant has been applied up here. Uh, pretty much all over the top of the unit. Probably because of the rain situation. So, I'm going to reapply. I can see a lot of it's worn away. I'm going to reapply silicone and try to seal it up as best I can and then fire it up and if it doesn't leak then possibly it was a rain rainwater situation so all right so i'm gonna pull this belt and uh see what i can do about this pulley and then uh after you've done that about 10 times it's it's wearing a groove a little round groove into that key um, the end of this set screw has like a little rough uh, ridges on it uh, to help it stay in place so uh, when you're tightening down you're kind of digging in to the key and uh, that should make like a nice little like indent for uh, the set screw to sit in and that a lot of times will help that lateral movement like sliding off the shaft action so yeah I got her all tightened in there she's good um, and uh, that's something you want to check um, during seasonal maintenance uh, we uh, we check them out we grease the Grease the bearings and just turn on the set screws and make sure that they are tight. And that's about it. I did check uh, that one down there just to make sure it's uh, good to go and check the set screws. They are tight and uh, that one hasn't moved. So we should be okay there. Uh, and that should be it. I'm going to fire it up and uh, see what it looks like. sound too good sounds like a bad bearing that's what it sounds like to me so it looks like we're not done with this one sounds to me like these bearings are shot 
at least one of them. I'll probably have to replace both. Not good. So it looks like we thought we were done, but we're not done. Well, gonna let the customer know what's going on and try to get get them some new bearings in here. So to be continued. Okay, we're back, and you can see we have the uh, the fan out of the unit. This one, unfortunately, we had to take out. Tried doing it while it was in there um, from the top and from the bottom, but uh, the bottom gave us some problems. So we pulled it out and still didn't get much luck getting this bearing off. We got it apart, you know, it basically came apart, but bearing is stuck on there. So uh, we're going to have to cut this shaft and uh, get to get it out of here. We tried even getting the the little keys out of the blower wheel they're not coming out these things we're just gonna have to cut it get it out of there i got a new shaft and a new wheel picking it up in the morning and then we'll be back we did get one bearing installed but it's worthless if we can't do the, the bottom so that's where we're at we'll be back in the morning and uh with a new wheel and a new shaft and It'll have an all new everything. Um, that's it, and we'll pick back up. Okay, so we have our new shaft, new wheel, and new bearings. And she's all together. We're gonna grease her up and then get her back inside. Unfortunately, this one uh, blows to the side instead of down like, like typically what you see on rooftops. So not that easy getting it back in. It's gonna take two of us. One guy to hold it and the other guy to screw it. But uh, so far, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll have her up and running in no time. All right. We got the fan assembly in, new wheel, new bearings, and new shaft. Looking good. And we're gonna fire it up. We'll run it for about 30 seconds, shut it down, and just check it make sure that everything's staying where it should and we should be good to go all right she's up and running looking good we're gonna let her run for about 30 minutes while we pack up just to make sure everything's all good We're all done. She's back up and running. Now give us a call for any heating or air conditioning needs. Thank you.